body image plummets. Let's go. Women are supposed to have fat on them. Cool. Pick me up. Take me to Mexico. <laughs> channel super grateful that you're here as for always i hope you're having a beautiful damn day and this is my lovely beautiful friend veronica Hello. bff forever yes she's been in a vlog once before which i will link up in the cards on one of these sides mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was such a fun vlog we did a whole toronto excursion and got tattoos Woo! it was so great but hey we are gonna have another super freaking fun day today we're gonna go treat ourselves to some brunch yes. right now because we are already ready we're all ready <laughs> well ready and pretty and ready to go <laughs> all okay. right cue some freaking brunch <laughs> My eyes are burning. <laughs> the reality of the shot. <laughs> oh my god. This is how I want every morning of my life to look like. Big ass, just like a sun filled room. Sun filled room. Big ass windows and nice everywhere. Coffee. Yeah. I'm so happy right now. All right, I gotta figure out what I want to eat. I've been feeling so, I've been feeling so down, yeah. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why I'm down? All right, are you ready? No. No friends of mine around, yeah. Now I'm thinking now, now I'm... So I got their avocado toast, but it typically comes with a fried egg and feta on it. However, I asked them to not do that for me, but I got some fried up mushrooms and then I've added some pickled red onions on top. Hey guys, it's future Julia here talking to you from beyond. And I want to let you know what is up behind the scenes here. Between filming, editing, creating new ideas, researching those ideas, and setting enough time aside for myself, my family, my friends, and all of the things, I've got a lot on my plate, okay? And that is why I'm so excited to share today's sponsor, Later. Later is a social media scheduling app that allows content creators, businesses, and anyone in between to streamline their social media strategy. It personally keeps me on track and organized on busy days like this one where I just wanna hang out with my BFF and have a good time. It's a tool that allows you to set yourself up for the future, visually plan your social media feeds, organize your content, manage your media, as well as give you hashtag suggestions and analytics on your content. They show you in an easy to understand way more about your followers, profile interactions, best performing posts and stories, and what hashtags you could potentially use to up your game. I personally love this because it lets me know in a very real way what you guys like to see and how I can best spread my love and positive energy with you all. So while I was out for brunch today, I got a lovely notification to share with you all on IG. I previously planned and created this post to keep myself organized. I have shared previously that I am just such a giver and on days where I get sidetracked and forget to share with you guys, I feel a little down because sharing is just such a therapy for me. 
That's why later is such a great tool. It allows me to remind future Julia to do something that she loves and share the content that she truly wants to share with you. If you want to check out later and see all of the amazing tools that they have to offer, make sure you click the link down in my description box below and use my code for one month free of their growth plan. Thank you later for sponsoring today's video. I truly appreciate it. And let's get on to the rest of the damn day. What do you guys think? <laughs> do the seagulls get cold? Do the birds get cold? They gotta get cold. They have a nervous system. Oh my goodness. There's so many of them. Go down south, man. I Can I get, get out of here? I need to hitch a ride. If all of you guys pick me up, you could you could do it. Yeah. Some like <laughs> eagles can pick up like dogs. Yeah. Like, that's up. insane. Yeah. Take me to Mexico. Pick me up. Take me <laughs> to Mexico. <laughs> I'm ready so to cold. go. Look how nice that looks. <laughs> so we've ended up at the thrift store yeah. this is what happens when two girls are together <laughs> apparently it's so busy in here that there's no extra carts or baskets available for us so we have to hold everything if we find anything good i low-key really want to find a pair of sunglasses because now that i have contacts the sunglasses that I typically wear, those like brown, round ones, they're my old prescription. I can't wear them on top of my contacts, right? Or I'd literally just be confused. <laughs> How do we look? <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> These are bell bottoms. Okay, if these fit me nicely, these pants were legitimately made for me. Okay, so you guys know I like to spice things up. Should I get it? It's adorable, no? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've literally been addicted to thrifting recently. I think I've went thrifting three or four times in the last like month. So I may have a slight addiction to thrifting currently, but hey, you know what? Supporting the planet, that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> and also one reason that I absolutely love thrifting is that you always have something different than other people. You find these very unique things that not many people are gonna be walking around in because it's not a fast fashion trend anymore. Ew. That's actually really adorable. <laughs> I oh don't my really goodness! See it at all, but I love it. That's I like, like that's at it, so vintage. To, like, out, like, a word oh my that's spelling. That is so vintage with these. Yeah. Ooh, a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. Flame, higher. So we're just about to head into Goodness Me, which is like a natural food store, and get some freaking food for dinner. We're gonna make pizza, and we're gonna go over to Mitchell's, and Veronica is gonna meet Mitchell for the very first time. And we're gonna make pizza! Woo! Woo! Help me. What are we getting? Portobello. Portobello? Good <gasps> Beauty. Thank you. We got a blueberry lemon muffin. Okay. And I'm hyped. <gasps> she looks beautiful. This is tiny. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, so good. Yo, honestly, um, anything would have tasted good right now, though. I, yeah, the I agree. Sock flavored. Sock flavored stew. Oh, like, <laughs> mm, oh my god. So good. <laughs> so nourishing. Mm, you're the best. You are the best. Mm. What? So good. Let me spit my game. You know that this room got me moving this way. Oh my! They're perfect. They fit me perfectly! Ignore these really ugly green socks that I've got on, but oh my god, they just make me want to like. Wait, I gotta grab my foot differently. <laughs> <laughs> this sweater is freaking adorable too. I love the circled zippers. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. I love the circled zippers. I just think they're so cute and so classic. I cannot get over these pants. They got like a little bit of room around the waist so I can eat a yummy meal. Let my belly expand. I just got one outfit. So I got this shirt. It's kind of like 
scoop over here. I got these mom jeans, $12. American Eagle. They make your outfits look amazing. Thank you. I'm just trying, like, I got some boots. <laughs> I got some boots. <laughs> they are, literally make her look like a bad bee. Like a hardcore bad bee. <laughs> I feel so like, tall right now. I like, know. <laughs> the heels are huge. She does have heels on, but I am yes. short, guys. <laughs> This is it. <laughs> you got more clothes on. Yeah, I did. <laughs> All right. Cue a cute top. Do we like it? We think it's cute. <gasps> I love it. I feel it. I feel it. All right. So cue another shirt change. Okay. What do we think about this? I don't. I thought it was so cute in in the store on the hanger, but now that I have it on, I don't know how I feel about it. Like this kind of like makes my shoulders look weird. I'm not a fan. I think I'm gonna have to return it. So, if you buy something that you don't actually like, either return it, donate it, and forget about it. Because why waste your time and your life wearing clothes that you don't love? All right, one more. I feel like with a pair of jeans, this would look really cute. Lower rise pair of pants and this like tucked into it and the sleeve rolled up a bit. Maybe. I'll sit on it. I think I'm gonna have to sit on it. You know what? I'm really happy with the couple things that I did get that I love, or the few things I should say. I absolutely love this sweater. I love this shirt. I love these pants. I think this was a successful small little thrift haul. Okay, so okay. Oh we God. made shepherd's pie last night and oh my goodness, it was so freaking good. Neither of us wanted to stop eating it, like truly. We wished that we never got full. Cut so it we like could just like slivers. We're like just one more bite. Just, just one more. One more, bite. And <laughs> we're like, oh, one more. <laughs> it was just so <laughs> damn delicious. Just a few steps from the door. Watch for them caps on the floor. All right, mukbang. <laughs> Bert, I just totally licked that. Yeah, I was waiting for it. And then... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm used to not eating with people. This is just being alone in my apartment or with Mitchell and he doesn't care if I lick things. <laughs> uh, I was about to say something but I didn't. <laughs> All those things you do got me willing to play. Just a few steps from So the one reason that I'm super excited about this video is to show you guys that two people that eat very differently but very similarly in some senses as well where we both care about what we're putting in our bodies how we're fueling our bodies and paying attention to what makes us feel our best mm -hmm. as well as like having a really big interest in like herbal medicine and herbal healing and doing things just more in the natural route we have so much connection on that level mm -hmm. but yet we eat so differently yeah. Like, I'm plant-based. I don't eat meat. I haven't ate meat for years. But you... I'm not plant-based at all. I've always eaten meat. Like, grew up eating meat. Never saw anything wrong with it. And I continue to. I went through a phase when I tried to eat a lot less meat. But I'm like, it's a very big, like, cultural thing. Like, in my house, I'll eat plant-based whenever. And I'm yeah, fine with anyway, eating it. Anytime you come here, you love eating vegan I love food. it. But when I'm home, I'll cook for my family. Like, I'll cook them plant-based food because they never and ate it like, so i like <laughs> lied to my family and I'm, i made like these ground chicken tacos one time and it was like tofu that i like crumbled and like air fried and like like marinated and everything i was like oh my god chicken tacos guys like whatever and i was like oh this is really good i'm really good everyone ate dinner and after the fact i was like you guys that was tofu like, and they're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta introduce it to them because my parents exactly. are very like every time i make a vegan meal where's the meat where's the meat yeah I'm like, yeah. You don't need meat! So that's why it just like makes me so happy to see young people more open to eating plant-based mm -hmm. diets and All of my also friends. teaching people like, yeah, like, you don't need to have meat at every single meal. Yeah. And that's one thing for me is I know that not everyone is going to thrive off of a vegan diet and that's it's just true. facts. It's just straight up facts and as much as I wish it wasn't true, it's the truth. Like a lot of people don't do well on a vegan diet. More of the story is that two best friends can eat very differently and that's totally okay. Like mm -hmm. as a plant-based person, I'm not sitting here trying to convert her no. or trying to judge her and how she's eating because at the end of the day, me adding pressure onto people is not gonna make them want to change their diet. I find that people like to make a decision for themselves 
not be pressured into a decision by other people. Yeah. And that's that's like when you're about to do the dishes and then your parents come <laughs> close the door now. I'm not so hot anymore. <laughs> If you're about to do the dishes and then you're like ready to go, whatever, feeling pretty inspired to do the dishes, and then your mom's like, Can you do the dishes, please? And you're like, No, like now I don't want to do the dishes. Like it's literally the same thing. So Yeah, seriously. <laughs> At the end of the day, it comes down to like eating what feels right for you too. Yeah, because 100%. as you said, people some people don't thrive on no. eating plant-based diets, and that's fine. Like everyone has a different metabolism, how much muscle mass they have, yeah. their different body composition, like it all is so dependent on so many little differences. Paying attention to yourselves and then learning a base understanding of nutrition and like how to fuel your body is like the best way that you mm -hmm. can be an intuitive eater for your entire mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Intuitive eating is tough. A lot of people it struggle with tough. that. It is tough. It's so tough. I struggled with that. Yeah. <laughs> there was like a point in time when I was like on a crazy restrictive diet and I was using my fitness pal and I was like, oh my God, I have to hit my 1600 calorie goal per day and like have a billion grams of protein. And I'm like, that was bad. Like I got really sick. Like it was really bad for mm -hmm. me. And all sorts of like issues happened. And after a while, I just like slowly was able to wean off of it and, yeah. and get to a point where I'm like, oh, I literally like don't yeah. look at what I'm eating because like I'll know what I want in the moment based mm -hmm. on literally what your body needs. And exactly. we've evolved to have these cues, like these hunger cues or cravings, unless obviously you have like a medical disorder. Cause yes. some instances you could get like addicted to sugar. Yes. And it's like you're always it's, craving sugar. It exactly. doesn't mean your body needs no. sugar. It's like no, you're addicted no. to it. Exactly. And that's so. where that base understanding of yeah. nutrition comes in as well, right? Like it's important to honor your cravings, but yeah, if you're addicted to sugar or addicted to mm -hmm salty fatty foods mm -hmm. and all that's all you want to eat all of the mm -hmm. time then you have to like retrain your body to like not be mm -hmm. in desire of that all the time because that's going to throw off so much in your body if yeah. you're constantly eating like a certain way yeah the bottom line is anything in like extreme is never good no. and by dieting shredding wanting to look lean you become way more self-conscious then and you're like Picking at every little thing. Yeah. Oh my god, only six abs are showing instead of eight today. What the heck? I'm so ugly and fat. Like, it's ridiculous. Your body image plummets. You're doing all this thing, all this, like, all this thing. <laughs> you're doing all these things to, like, look a certain way, and then you're just picking yourself apart, and you still don't like yourself. So, yeah. why would you, like, what's yeah. the point? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But only in hindsight, like, going through that, are you able to realize that, though? Because mm -hmm. during it, I had no idea. Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. thought it was the right thing to do. And yeah. people were like, oh my God, Veronica, like you eat so clean, your workouts so consistently, like you're so like healthy, and health people, goals. Like, ask, yeah, yeah. Like, they like put you up on a pedestal. Like, yeah. oh my God, like look how like how well she's doing, yeah. like and all of these things, but low key are legitimately suffering. Suffering. And it's And you're like, oh my god, I guess this is what it's like, like to be yeah, healthy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is no. how this is the epitome it's of It's not health. It's not, no, it's not. You're being miserable, don't do it. <laughs> seriously, seriously. And it's like women are supposed to have fat on them. Mm -hmm. Whether like you carry it on your stomach, on your thighs, on your butt, like no matter where you carry it, where your body naturally yeah. carries it, naturally carries it, like it's not gonna do anything else. Well, <laughs> where your Just body tagging behind is me. <laughs> You know, like it helps you. Helps you. It yeah. helps you manage your freaking hormones mm -hmm. for one, which is like a huge one. It helps produce those hormones. But produce, yeah. yeah, yeah. Without it, it's serious. You're not producing certain hormones, mm -hmm. and that's why certain things happen. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just so different yeah. and so unique, and that has to be honored and appreciated. But 100%. your body is supposed to be your body, nobody else's, mm -hmm. and you can't compare yourself to anybody else because you are a completely different human being. Yep. Like a combo. Yeah. Yeah. High five. High five. <laughs> <laughs> <That was good. laughs> Holy shit, we talked for half an hour. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what kind of wine is that? Uh, great question. Red. You're kind of red. It is. <laughs> is that it? Is that the name of it? Saggy. Actually, probably, but I've never it? heard of that. I have no idea. I have no idea either. Yeah, sing you these. <laughs> what a lot of English. Segio easy. Segio easy. Don't let the dyslexic say it. Cheers. 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 Cheers or something. Cheers or something. <laughs> Do you have dry bases or the chocolate? Do you like the mustache, guys? <laughs>
<laughs> it's November! <laughs> what happened today? What happened today? Just a weird way of saying, like, how's it? Yeah. Two <laughs> best friends can have very different diets. You still have, like, the same outlook in life. Yeah. You're checking yourself out the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to start prepping the veggies right away, though. No. We'll wait for the thing to rise. Oh, easy, man. Oh, chicken. Yeah. I got portobello's as well. Oh, do you want to use this one? Yes. Beautiful. Anyways, I am just going to crush some garlic and then throw it in like a little dish and throw it in the oven with some olive oil and cook it. Nice. And then it's going to be used for the pesto. All right. Very that weirdo likes her eyes burning when she cuts onions. She's like, <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> My eyes are being cleansed. <laughs> yeah, like the bacteria's being killed. Like it's fine. <laughs> Maybe you can just put it on the tray with the. Oh, okay, you, nice. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> you really tried. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say just put it on the thing with the chicken. I was like literally. Doing this as you're like freaking out about oven safe. What? Mm -hmm. I know, no, it no, I just so love nice. touching the yeah. inside of mushroom. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, nice. It's so like soft. <laughs> nice mushies. Nice mushies. <laughs> Sorry said, to all the German people. I said mushies yesterday, and Julia's like, no. I was like, no. <laughs> I found these tumblers. Literally, I feel like I'm sh like I don't need to shrink. I feel like my head's in it, but I'm like, yeah, you're good. hey guys, <laughs> our heads are totally cut off. Yeah, they are. Hi. Yeah. We're like, like this? Right here, and then we're like, <laughs> wait, no, you go up, stay up, ready, go down. <laughs> we're just gonna... I didn't know we were doing that. I just, you just keep going up and down. I'm like, oh. I literally bought these tumblers for 99 cents each, like three what? years ago. Love them so much. And then I found this tumbler that is basically the same shape with a picture on it, like years later. <gasps> this is for the collection. I think it'd be tougher to find what isn't thrifted in your house and what is. Very accurate. Yeah, we literally went today. Yeah, we went again today. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what for? For <laughs> <Where are you? laughs> I found some more hippie pants. Yes, they're so nice. Wow, you really needed those. I know. Yes. Hold up, hold up. Tell me what the hold up is. I'm a little sport. I'll be the first to admit it. I'm not used to laying low about my feelings. Tell the world to write a book when I'm finished. I should thank your mama. Yeah. Look at what she made. Spreading you so badly. I'm in summer with no rain. Yeah, I want it, want it, want it, want it more than I want to. I want it, want it, want it, want it. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. Maybe you do need a wine bottle. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right, I'm using the wine bottle. <laughs> All right, get it. Oh, improv. This weird egg like <laughs> monster structure. Yeah. See, you know? yeah? yeah Every I need everything on there. Everywhere Same. mushroom? Okay. Oh wait, we didn't grate cheese. Yep. Should we get a good angle? Yeah? Okay, I got, I got a good gangle. Got a good gangle? Yeah. <laughs> Crispiness, eh? 
That's what we want from a pizza. Standing by the wall. See, that shows like bomb. I know. It's really flavorful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. High five? Marinade. High five? Yeah. Put a picture up. Elegance riding on the stall phone. Number such a gentleman. Who you gonna call, baby? I've been waiting for you. We don't have to talk. We can sit still. So we just finished so much freaking pizza and we are all so full. Are you full? Very full. Are you full? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we are literally all so full. Drank lots of wine. We have had a beautiful freaking night. Anyways, we are just going to watch a movie and chill out for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and said hey to Veronica again. <laughs> She's literally my BFF and it's always so exciting to have her. So I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day because you deserve it. And I will see you again soon for lots more videos coming your way. And mwah! okay, bye. <laughs>